back to where it all began to say thank you to those who made it all possible. You made me a better president, and you made me a better man. I can't do that. <laughs> Barack Obama leaves behind a divided nation, but he pleaded for unity. Now this is where I learned that change only happens when ordinary people get involved and they get engaged and they come together to demand it. He may not have changed America exactly the way he wanted, but tonight he highlighted the positives. Today the economy is growing again. Wages, incomes, home values and retirement accounts are all rising again. Poverty is falling again. But with the election of Donald Trump, one of Mr Obama's crowning achievements may soon be gone. If anyone can put together a plan that is demonstrably better than the improvements we've made to our health care system that covers as many people at less cost, I will publicly support it. It was his gratitude for his wife Michelle and two daughters that brought him to tears. We made the White House a place that belongs to everybody. And a new generation sets its sights higher because it has you as a role model. I feel like I felt eight years ago. I am, I'm hopeful again. I feel great coming out of this farewell speech. And even though he's leaving, I feel good. He made it easy for me to engage as a young adult, you know, to actually want to watch, to actually care. Yes, we did. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. May God continue to bless the United States of America. Thank you. And with that, Barack Obama has delivered his final speech as president. It was more than a farewell and a chance to say thank you. It was a call to arms to the next generation of leaders here in Chicago and across America to keep striving for the goal he's had since the day he took office.